guys good morning good afternoon good evening uh, so before proceeding further right just i wanted to make a small request to you, everyone who are watching this videos right please subscribe the channel so that i can do much more videos many many videos on top of this etl testing in one more announcement which i wanted to make it i'm going to start with the pyspark videos as well so in coming in coming videos you are going to see even data engineering area for example suppose if you are a etl tester whoever already experienced person now you wanted to make a career in data engineering okay what is the approach how you can make it how you can enter into the data engineering area that also i am going to cover in further videos so one thing if you can subscribe the channel and if you can notify the channel automatically you are going to get all those all those videos and let's get into the topic today very important thing is so some of one of my student is attended infosys interview and he shared the interview questions with me so i wanted to share with all of the folks so that you are also get benefited out of it whenever you attend right these are the common questions which they have asked in most of the most of the interviews but here we can go with the infosys today okay specifically okay this is the first round of interview questions which they have asked okay let's take it up here today first first thing is here so let's take it up this questions okay first i'm going to read out these questions and then on top of it what are the areas which they have majorly focused on i'm going to let you know first question which they have asked okay very important question and very simple question actually so the first question everybody knows okay tell me about yourself and your projects that is very common question you have to answer at any point of time so that you have to be prepared according to your projects as well as your introduction okay so next question directly they jump into informatica first thing okay instead of informatica first what they have done they have asked okay how familiar with you how familiar you are with data warehousing concepts first question is difference between star schema and snowflake schema star schema and snowflake schema so this question when you have when if you read it data warehousing concepts right you can easily answer this question i am going to cover this question in for in my further videos next thing is what is connected lookup and unconnected lookup in informatica lookup is the transformation in informatica and when it comes to connected and unconnected there are two types of lookups okay you have to understand that this question also i am going to cover in my further videos next thing is what is active and passive active means when whenever we have a, suppose if you have a data for example let's say you have a 10 records which you are passing from source to target but if you see from 10 to 15 it can happen or it can happen to less than that so which means the number of rows number of records which is changing source to target from source it can be increased or it can source to target when it comes to traveling if it is it can be increased or decreased for example if you take 10 records in the source and it can change to 9 or it can change to 15 so that time we can consider as a active transformation and what is passive transformation passive transformation means number of rows which we have in source same number of rows which is pa passing to target that is called passive transformation and next question is what is what is the use of partition in informatica this is a very very important concept in in not only here okay even in database also whenever you do partition the data right in informatica i'm going to explain at the same time even i'm going to explain in database level even in big data also we are going to use this particular concept so in coming videos i'm going to cover this particular topic and in unix how to get top 10 values just very simple command that is called nothing but a head command head command h e e d smaller case h e e d if you uh, if space and file name if you can give it automatically you are going to get that particular value and next thing is how to merge two files how to merge two files into single file in unix so either you can append the data using the grade uh, double greater than 
that is the one of the option or you can just you can use the cat cat after using two files cat automatically you it can it can be easily done okay simple what i can say first thing is for example you have one file and now you want it to append cat open file and double greater than if you do double greater than and uh, first file automatically it will append the append to the bottom of the file okay that is the one way how to change the date format in oracle mmdd yy2 change this format so there is a one of the easy two if you can use to care automatically you can get it done this particular thing and i'm going to cover this as well in a very short one minute video one or two minutes video i can cover this and very very important thing this is the important question and people will ask multiple times what is the use of self join when we can use self join self join is used whenever you have a hierarchical questions hierarchical database hierarchical relationship for example manager employee manager ceo kind of stuff which we have seen in employee table so using self join we can achieve couple of things those things i'm going to cover very short within 5 minutes i'm going to cover this video and you can see that and next thing is we have a call two columns first name and last name we wanted to get whose name starts with vowels and ending with vowels there are two approaches which you can do it this particular thing using substring you can get the first first value okay first character and then you can use in in operator and you can give the vowels vowels means what a e i o u a e i o u at the same time and you can write it up and you can write it up in nothing but a simple again you can do substring minus 1 automatically you are going to get the value and then you can use the again in operator a e i o u character so that you are going to solve this is the one approach second approach which you have is just i'm giving high level just you can do it and you can come in the comment box you can write it up still if you have any doubts on this particular questions i can even explain in further in the sql interview questions so another way of is in oracle we have a specifically which we have is very very important thing is regular expression a reg regular expression like operator is there using that there is a one uh, simple you can use that regular expression like and you can give the dollar is the ending one and there is a symbol or till symbol using that till symbol you can use it starting so that it will be easy i am going to cover this question in the next thing okay next question very very important and even if it is a etl testing or data engineering wherever you can go over and see this is the question they wanted to understand they wanted to understand your capacity your sql knowledge some of the cases right some of the cases some of the interviewers first this question they will give you if you are able to answer then they can go ahead and they can take further otherwise they can cut you cut the call in the first 5 minutes itself so explain the different types of joins what are the types of joins are there let's consider it a uh, recent uh, nc standard nothing but inner left outer right outer full outer joins and cross join as well just i'm giving it as a how the question they have asked same thing i'm explaining here table 1 is having one column 0 1 1 2 3 null table 2 is having 1 1 2 2 3 3 null null 5 so see this question i have answered in the already in sql interview questions you can go ahead and you can watch the video thank you guys these are the questions which they have asked in in infosys what is the experience 3 to 4 years of experience 3 to 4 years of experience thank you and please subscribe the channel and as well as share with your friends if it, this particular content is useful for you not only this even in couple of videos oh, i have already shared the sql entire entire playlist in the videos you can go to sql playlist and then you can learn from it thank you guys have a great day ahead